hello guys today i'm going to show you how to create a vm uh, on your android server so the vm that i'm going to be creating is a windows vm so the same things can be done for a linux vm as well but sometimes the pass through stuff might be a different uh, so i'm not familiar with that uh, but all of the other things uh, it should be the same uh, else so First of all, what we need to do is uh, there are some few things that we need to do. Uh, so first, we need to create a share, uh, two shares for our ISO uh, file location as well as for our virtual drives. So normally, you should get uh, those shares by default. If not, you can create create one uh, for yourself. So I have created one uh, here called ISO, and uh, this ISO is uh, only included in the disk one. Uh, so so that it's not uh, divided in between my whole array um, and if I go to virtual disks this virtual disk uh, share is created and included only in the disk 4 the reason for that is without selecting the cache drive uh, because currently my cache drive is a hard drive so I know it's not a recommended way to use it but currently I'm only running my uh, docker drives and other docker and other uh, applications on it my vm is running on this uh, disk 4 drive as you can see this is a uh, edata nvme drive so instead of uh, uh, including this edata nvme drive to my whole array i have what i have done is i have uh, separated it from my uh, array and used it as a uh, virtual drive storage location so this will be included but the shares will not uh, use this NVM drive. So if I go to one of my shares, as you can see here, currently it says, but uh, if I want, I can just select these three and just click apply. So just like that, these won't be used in that. So just like that, uh, we can. Uh, create the shares so I, as I showed you you need to create those and afterwards what you need to do is you need to uh, go to settings and go to VM manager and here you will have to uh, select the default location so normally it will be in the basic view so this is the basic view so as you can see first of all you need to download this uh, Windows uh, virtual IU drive ISO so this will be down downloaded and stored in that same location before so you need to download the latest one i have already done it so i don't need to uh, if you expand this to advanced view you can see the default location for vm storage as well as for iso locations so currently i have selected my uh, share locations uh, for my uh, storage paths and here you can see the network bridge it's selected as bridge zero and this some other stuff you can add so if you are going to uh, use uh, pass throughs and other things uh, here by default it's multi-function so you can just leave it as it is and afterwards click done uh, so and the other main thing you need to do is you need to go to your bios and enable virtualization so if i show you my info as you can see hvm is already enabled so hypervisor manage is already and enabled uh, if you need to pass through devices you need to have IOMMU capability in your processor if not uh, you cannot pass through any GPUs or other devices to your VM so but if you have only the hypervisor manager you should be able to uh, run a VM so after uh, doing those things now what we can uh, do is we can in create a VM and install the operating system so today I'm going to not include the uh, pass through cap uh, options. Uh, if you want, uh, I will have a link of a video where you can pass through your GPU and another video uh, from uh, Space Invader 1 um, where you can pass through other devices as well. So make sure to check those if you are going to uh, pass through any devices. If not, uh, you can follow these steps. So first of all, you need to uh, after doing those other things that I told before now what you can do is you need to go to VMs and Currently you can see my VM is running one of the VMs is running. So no problem I'm going to create another VM go to add VM 
and if you're going to install a windows 10 you can select this template if not you can you have some options you can select one of them if you're going to run linux you have those options as well you can run uh, from there also so i'm going to install a windows 10 operating system so i'm going to select windows 10 and uh, you can give whatever the name you want mm. so host pass through is the one i'm going to select for cpu cores i'm going to select cpu Two, sorry uh, yeah let's select CPU 2 CPU 8 and CPU 3 CPU 9 uh, for memory let's select 4 GB uh, and there are two options so OVMF and CBIOS so CBIOS is the uh, normal regular bus that we ha we all have seen in the past so OVMF is the newer one which works like the UEFI bus so if you have an AMD card, you should be able to pass through it without any additional configurations using CBIOS. Uh, for other, uh, if you're going to select OVMF, uh, there might be some additional things you need to do. So, um, it depends on your option. So, my uh, go-to is uh, OVMF. So, I'm just going to select OVMF. Hypervisor is enabled, yes. And USB controller, you can just uh, select whatever you want. No problem in that uh, so here OS installation I so so here you can see uh, previously we selected some uh, location for the ISO uh, files to be saved so if I access that share uh, say you can see the ISO share if I open it these are the ISO uh, that I have you can see those same ISOs listed here so I need to select the OS that I'm going to install. So I'm going to select Windows 10. Uh, so the type for this one, I'm going to select SATA. Uh, or as you can select SCSI, no problem in that. Uh, for uh, Vertio drivers, I'm going to select the uh, driver that we uh, downloaded from the VM manager. So you can see it here. I'm just going to download that. Um, for that also, I'm going to select SCSI. Uh, and here this is the location where the virtual drive will be created uh, so if you see I, ha I previously showed you the virtual disk share so if I open that you can see the two VMs that I previously uh, previously we saw on the VM tab so a new VM also will be created in this location and the share uh, the virtual drive will be saved inside uh, that folder so here we are just going to leave it auto because the location is okay for us and the size of the virtual drive so for this uh, it depends on your uh, drive so if I go to my main menu and show you my data drive you can see uh, I have 71 GB free space so I can give uh, 30 GB no problem so just to be safe I'm going to just going to give 40 G um, here you need to select Vertio because uh, or as it won't take the driver uh, properly so for graphics card uh, we are going to select VNC because if I want I can pass through my GPU but uh, as I told you it's a bit complicated so I will just leave the video in the link uh, or on the top right corner you will be have a pop-up uh, so you can go through that and see those steps uh, for now I'm just going to select VNC and QXL is the one uh, keyboard type it's okay if you want sound so these are also you need to go through the pass through options so uh, make sure to follow those videos uh, properly and for network no need to do anything just leave it as it is that's all so these options you get normally if you pass through the devices so as I told I will not select any of these things and afterwards you can leave the check mark or remove it it's your preference uh, and press create so as you can see the VM is created and four CPU cores are there and the memory is for uh, 4, 4 GB and size is 40 gigs and graphics type is VNC so now if we click the start icon it started if we select the windows icon and select vnc remote you should be able to see the vm 
so that's a bit of a problem let's see what we can do here So as you saw, the problem was that uh, the VNC con uh, connector didn't open uh, uh, fast enough. So you need to open it very quickly. Uh, if not, the uh, boot menu will be skipped and go to that option because there isn't any operating system available. So you just need to open the VNC connect option uh, properly. Mm. And afterwards, you get the press uh, any key button and after you select any key, if the operating system is working fine, you should be taken into the operating system installation page. So as you can see here, we can select the languages and currency and those kind of things. I'm, just, I'm going to leave these by default, so the, leave it as it is and I'm just going to click next, click install. So here you get an error. So the reason for that is because the driver or the uh, hard drive is virtual. It's not a physical drive. So here we need to select the drivers that are uh, able, uh, capable enough to understand that virtual drive. So that is why we downloaded that word IO, uh, ISO. So now you should be able to browse it from here. Uh, let's see whether we can see that. So as you can see, it's not shown in this option. So which means it's not added properly. So let's minimize this for a second. Let's go to edit. Okay. I think the problem might be SCSI. So let's just close this. Yep, let's just close this. Let's go back to the VMs. Let's force stop this one. Let's go to edit and change OS install uh, one to IDE just to be safe. Uh, and let's update those settings. And let's start the VM. Let's quickly open this. Okay, it's connected. Now let's go through these steps again. And now we should be able to see uh, the word IUISO. If not, let's check again. Custom, so you don't see the storage drive. So now what we need to do is we need to select load driver, select browse. Now as you can see, we can see the uh, ISO of our image of our Windows 10 as well as the uh, word IO driver. So the problem was the SCSI option. Um, by default, it was selected as IDE. Uh, it's my fault to select it as SCSI. So just leave it as IDE. And uh, now what we need to do is we need to add the virtual drive. So to do that, expand this word IO. And here we need to select our operating system. So under SCSI. So we can verify that if you go back to the uh, VM's edit option and scroll down. Uh, so the primary VDisk bus type is word IO. So I'm going to see whether we can find something inside that which refers to what are you okay so this one if I select this expand this one and select Windows 10 and AMD 64 okay so we can see Red Hat word I use Kazi controller let's select this one and click next So as you can see, uh, the driver is installed properly. And now we can see the virtual drive that we created when we created the VM.
so the capacity is okay it's correctly there so i'm just going to give it uh, something like 30000 uh, for now apply okay and the rest of the partitions will be created by default okay so those are the two partitions i'm going to install the operating system here and let's see what we need to do after the installation process So as you can see, we just uh, finished installing the VM uh, and it's working fine for now. So if we go to our my computer and go to manage or computer management and device manager, you can see some drivers are missing. And if you go to properties of uh, uh, the display settings of this uh, VM you can see that uh, we cannot change the resolution so those are the things uh, we need to normally fix uh, so internet and the display settings so most of the other things are working fine so let's just uh, fix the display setting first uh, so as we see here uh, it has taken the Microsoft basic display adapter driver so we are just going to update the driver so let's just select update driver and let's just select browse my computer for driver software and we are going to select the CD-ROM uh, which is with our word IO drivers so we are just going to select this okay let's just click next so it has taken the Red Hat Inc display adapter so we are just going to select install close so now if we go to display settings now we have the option to go up to even 4k settings uh, so I'm just going to leave it in 1024 for now so just like that you can just uh, update the setting and change the resolution in your VM as well and now what we're going to do is we're going to install our Ethernet controller drivers so just like that right click on the Ethernet controller select upgrade driver go to browse my computer so the letter E is selected which is our, our Vertio drivers uh, CD-ROM uh, letter so let's just click next so here also Red Hat Vertio Ethernet adapter is taken and let's just click install and now internet is working as well so if we go to our network settings and scroll down go to network and share in center go to change adapter settings you can see our network card as well and we can get internet as well so like that so those are the main basic things you need to do uh, after installing the VM so these are some other errors for now we don't need those uh, devices so if you have some other missing devices you should be able to uh, get those drivers from that uh, virtual driver ISO if not if those uh, devices are some devices which you plugged in or which are passed through to your VM then you will have to install those uh, dedicated drivers for those dedicated devices uh, and just like that we have finished creating a VM on uh, our Android server I hope this video was informative and I hope that you guys subscribe my channel as well because 70% uh, of the viewers who are watching my channel aren't subscribed so I hope uh, I'm able to go to a thousand subs uh, so thank you guys for watching and see you guys around and subscribe my channel as well again and give a like share this video um, okay thank you guys for watching have a nice day